Yo, what's up? We're back for some more Pokemon Platinum uh, Wedlock Challenge on the Nintendo DS. And uh, last episode, we caught another member for the team, Blossom uh, Roselia. Pretty nice. And uh, we blew a ghastly encounter, which was pretty pretty annoying, to be honest. But we'll move onwards, guys. Plenty of things to do and see. Uh, there's a double battle. And I ask her, I'll take it on. Ears better be up to the task, or else she's gonna die. I'd rather not. But, if it happens, it happens. I guess. So we got a Baneary and a Buizel, and uh, three levels higher, but we have the tide advantage. So, you just basically don't die. That, that, that is your mission here, just don't die. Quick attack on the Baneary. I probably should have endured if I was going to be uh, conservative, but oh gosh. Okay, the, the jump kick actually hit... Veneri, I think it might have died. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might have died. Is that gonna kill? Okay, that's going to, Okay, that'll kill, and then... I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to endure with ears, because... I'm honestly... A, frightened... At, uh... A jump kick. Please tell me. Oh my gosh. See, like... That is that is some spooky stuff right there, guys. That is some spooky stuff. Like, a jump kick can almost KO me at that. That's how level that is crazy. Thankfully, we did survive. And part of me is now thinking I should have actually... had ears hold the XP share because... I think on its own, Roselia is a pretty good Pokemon. You know, I mean, it has a Roserade evolution anyway, so... For my own sanity, I'm going to put that on ears. Super Potion, where you at? Where are you at? There you go. Crack that on there. And, uh, off we go, I guess. So we went into the Ghost Tower. Well, there's probably a, a few trainers we could actually go in there and fight, but... I'm not sure if I want to. I probably should. Speaking of probably should, I probably should kill this as well. These big real actually give a decent amount of XP. For uh, being a wild Pokemon. Like 300 apiece. Oh my gosh. What did I do there? Oh, Booberil is part water. I forgot about that. One space, and I encounter another one. What is this? What is this game? Might as well take it out for that XP. Away it goes. Truly sorry for your loss, etc., etc. Is there anything of value up here, though? Huh. Is this one of those where you have to go like... Ah! Hold on. Aha! You have to shoot your skills in order to do that. <laughs> that, was, that was tough, actually. Um, I have a really bad habit of not using special attack. I can one dip. Just an EV booster, I think. Alright. Now we got that out of the way. Ah! I should have known that I would encounter some wild Pokemon. I have a repel for that reason, but... You know, I just haven't equipped it, apparently. Just the way I am, guys. Just the way I am. Okay. So, up top. Ooh. Wow, it's me again. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't battle me as we actually just finished battling. What lovely music, though. Sounds like I'm in a casino. Like a classy casino. Like a jazz bar. We'll just, we'll just settle with casino, right? 
wish there was a faster way to pick berries, to be honest, but whatever. Let's head in here. Heal up, and then out we go. I don't think there is a gym in this, this city, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. This apparently is the Pokemon News Press. I actually remember this area. I think. No, I don't know. Do I? I'm not sure. No, that's the daycare. Okay, now that makes sense. A lot of car boys and car girls around here. Howdy, partner. Daycare, dude. I mean, I probably should put someone in there. Oh, some berries, nice. You know, I can't deny me a free berry, guys. All of that added vitamins and micronutrients. How can I pass it up? How can I pass it up? You just can't, you just can't. And they come in their own convenient carrying case as well. So you can't say no. So I think we can get double bottles now in these. Is. But let's see how tough these guys are. Oh, this is a hiker? I thought it was a bug catcher. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough battle then. Point no, this should be okay. We are not going to outspeed this point as much as I would like to. This is probably gonna almost kill me, to be honest. No, it isn't? Okay. Of course, of course. That's gonna hurt, yeah. Mm. It hurts me to do this so early as well. I should really try and get a full restore when I can. So much more useful. Oh boy. Here we go. Don't die, Vols, don't die. Okay, we're good. Crit. Come on, we need a crit. Oh, that may be our hope. Oh, regardless, I need to switch out. Oh, no, no, no. I switched to the wrong Pokemon. Oh my gosh. I have really fat fingers. What does that mean? I swear, I switched to the wrong Pokemon. You know what, just to keep it far, I'm actually just going to take that damage to the face and switch back at the ears. This is what I was meant to do, so I'll just take it whatever. I'm probably going to die from this actually, I'm kind of sad, but... Um, I'm not, okay. Quick attack should kill, right? Yeah, it should, okay. So that really does make a difference, right? At least I don't think it does personally. I don't know, maybe you guys do. That was a tough battle. I gotta put Sonic to the front. I only have like two steps to walk south, but I really don't trust Vaults being burned. See, like, look at that. This is our encounter. Oh, a Noctile. Huh. Yeah, I want it. I mean, it's a good flying type, so if Sonic dies... The flinch hacks and the confusion combo. Too good, guys. Too good. If we kill it, we kill it. Oh well. Perfect. Another one for the PC. It's a male, which is kind of sucky because we need a few females in the computer as we only have one more in there, I think. It's just nice to have a decent amount of backups, but... Let's see. I 
I call him? What'll I call him? He has pretty cool eyebrows, right? Um, I don't know what to call him. I'm just gonna call him... Uh, I don't know. I have an idea. How about this? Nocturnal. What is another word for nocturnal? Night. I don't know. You know what? I can do this. This works. A okay, throwback to the Sega Genesis series. Sega Genesis? No, it was Sega Dreamcast. Nights in the Darkness, right? There you go. Enjoy. Not really the most original name in the world, but it'll do. In we go. Almost lost vaults there. Pretty scary stuff. See, I'm feeling I probably should. You know, keep chops at the front, and just keep on leveling chops and dip, and then just have the XP share on the other guys. Unlike that new XP share that just makes everything easy mode, right? Yeah, give me that. And put chops in the front. Chops and dip. Oh, put the XP share there. I'll do. Honestly, if we go straight up north here, actually, it should lead us back to. Uh, crap. Double battle. Have I got Charles and Dip? I do indeed. Okay. Here we go. This should be fun. There's a lot of double battles here, so a lot of XP being shared around. So I'm, you know. Happy about that, I guess. This is a tough matchup. I will, uh, Crowdy Chop, I guess, the Rabidash, and then you can Water Pulse the Bar Rabidash as well. I think you should be okay. Unless I get flinched. Which I'm probably going to. Or not. Wow. I survived two stomps without being flinched. That's amazing. That rabbit eye should give me a crap load of XP, though. Hey, look at that. Crazy amounts. Oh, it has so fast. Like, look, I'm, I'm leveling it here by, what, five levels? And it still outspeeds me. Well, I guess, you know, my choking shellos aren't really known for their grid speeds, but... <laughs> You get what I mean. I, it is a horse, you know, so it should be fast. But whatever. Well, you put up a good fight, guys. You put up a good fight. Is this person down here up for a battle? Oh, okay. You know, Roost would actually do on a Pokemon like Sonic. The only problem is, uh, you know, Crobat is really reliant on its speed, so actually taking like a turn out to heal up. I Crobat's one of those Pokemon that if it took a hit and it's going to need to heal up, it's probably dead. You know, so. I'm not sure. Might be. Wow. It outspeeds me. It's a level 23, Might be. It outspeeds me. Wow. It gives like 50 XP as well. That's the worst part. Okay, maybe not 50 XP, but. <laughs> Togepi, we have one of those in the PC. Apparently, a female Eevee is a one in a chance, I was told in the episode I was looking for one. I didn't know that, but the more you know, I guess. The more you know. Alright, not bad. Okay, 
Um, what is this? Cafe cabinet. Oh, milk. Give me... Oh, a bunch of Psyduck. Big fan of milk. Give me a dozen. I'll take, I'll take like, I don't know, lots of these. I didn't mean to buy one. Why would you buy one? It's so, you may as well just give them free money at that point. Oh, I'll do. I'll take more. It, it, it's a good investment. Just trust me. I'll do. That's all I want. 37 of those now, so. All day. This is a new right for me personally, so. Huh. That will lead us back to. Actually, there's the double battle that I want to do. Hopefully, I still have chops and dip at the front. I haven't switched around my party. Or at least I don't think I have. At least I don't think I have. Yeah, this should be easy enough. Pikachu and Clefairy? You kidding me? Mud Bomb. Bye. I always keep on forgetting that Clefairy is actually a fairy Pokemon, but we're playing Generation 4, which doesn't have fairies. So, you know, we can't do anything about that. You wanna fight? Bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Elekid. I always liked Elekid. Electabuzz and Electivire. Electivire is a pretty good Pokemon, I think. I, I would love to have one on my team. Why did, it, why did it do that for? I have no clue. And that's a pretty powerful move. Man, if I could kill by that guy, I would never live it down. Wanna KO, but the static kills me. Brilliant. Chops is so close to a uh, level. We gotta keep him in. We're gonna go second anyway, so let's just do the vital throw. So we're paralyzed and confused. What are the chances? Chops comes through in the end. What a guy. What a guy. A lot of HP on that happening. Look at that. What? 600? It was 1,200 to give off. Wow, I just want to battle that guy forever at this point. That is definitely some good area. A good area to use the VS Seeker to level up. He's super repel. Not bad, not bad. Alright, we battled all these guys, I think. You know what? Did we even catch Pokemon here? Yes, we got the Nocto. Okay, so join me next time, I guess, when we're going to go to... This road. There's a lot of people here. Guess I better heal up while I'm here as well. And Moo Milks. Uh, yeah. There we go. All healthy now. So, team's looking good. Looking very good. Um, just need to keep the levels up. Ears and Blossom needs to get a few levels up as well. And if we can get that sorted, I think we're looking pretty good heading into the fourth gym. Um... And then, you know, the gyms are going to start coming pretty heavy from here on out. The games are usually like that. Very spaced out early game, and then the gym would just get thrown at you, so... Should be fun. Any suggestions, as always, let me know, and I shall try and implement them where possible. Someone keeps on saying they're going to catch a Giebel, 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 whatever, in that wayward cube place. 
It's too far away, guys. I'm way too lazy. When we go back there, we probably will when I get fly. <laughs> but I'll catch you guys next time. And uh, yeah, parks and I. Bye bye.